everyone, I'm Enrico from John B. Anthony Company here with another video on the SQ Mixpad software from Alan and Heath. Today we're going to be talking about the IO patch tab. And here I've got my inputs up. We're starting off with our input channels. So what you're seeing in front of you, we have four different sources that we can use. We've got our local preamps, the S-Link port, the USB options, which include the USB B port on the back of the console or the SQ drive slot on the top of the board. And then we have our card slot, which can include a Dante card, a Waze card, or an another S-Link. Up here, we have our sources, and here we have all our channels that we've labeled already. I just go and simply click where I want to assign typical cross point patch bay, pretty easy. If you run into a situation where you need to use the same source on different channels, you can actually just easily go and do this. They'll be processed independently of each other, so if you're in a situation where your front of house mix needs to differ from what you're setting to your monitors, you can quickly have these running independently of each other. Just keep in mind they share a preamp gain, but with digital trim you can easily compensate and not have to worry about it at all. If you want to quickly patch everything, all you have to do is click library up at the top and select where you want to go and just do a diagonal patch and it's really easy. So now I've used my card slot and you can see that everything is just done for me very quickly. Here we've got our external mix-ins and this is useful if I have a comp system that I need to bring in or if I have a submix that was done on another mixer I can easily patch it in. Just keep in mind if you're going to a mono mix you have to have a mono external mix or if you're using a stereo mix to send to you need a stereo source. Over here we're looking at our outputs now and it's exactly the same setup. Here's where we're sending stuff to and here is the channel that we're pulling it from. So here we have their input direct outputs and I can send these wherever I want. In this case I've chosen the me ports and the me's have up to 40 sources so I've got all 40 filled up right here. Here we have our mix out. This is probably where you're going to be spending most of your time with the outputs. Down here you'll see your main left and right outputs. You can go and patch these out to wherever you want, whether it's one of the card slots or if you want to keep it local, send it out on an S-Link port, anywhere you want. For the rack effects, it's going to be the same thing. You can go and send these out to wherever you want and simply patch as needed. Monitor out is going to have our PAFL and our listen. Lastly, we have the tie lines. This is very useful for if you have two consoles. Say I have this SQ7 and I have either another SQ or a Q series mixer. I can go and I can send all my signals to that board and they can operate independently as either a broadcast board or maybe a monitor board. So I want to take my tie lines and I'm going to use the S-Link port and we're going to send all 48 channels out to that other console. It doesn't have to be all 48. We do have the option to mix and match as we need. The second board is going to be running completely independently. The only thing that they're going to share is the preamp gain. Again, this is a situation where you can use digital trim either up or down to offset this and you won't have any issues whatsoever. So. That's everything for the IO patch section of the Mixpad software. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like and share it. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave a comment down below. Subscribe to JBA University. Click that bell if you want to get notified when we put up more videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.